What's up, YouTube? Carter from NT21 here. Welcome back to the Prussian campaign. Anyway, we're gonna fight this battle because the AI is giving them way too big a chance. I'll see you there. Welcome to the battle map. Guess what? It's not rain. Yay! Okay, we got a ton of militia. Very small cavalry force. We got the Ulans, aka Lancers. So Russians, what was that giving you excellent odds even though you have poor morale and I got Lancers? I mean the fact that I have so many militia is just a miracle here. There's gonna be a bayonet charge force. I'm just gonna charge them in the bay with my bayonets. Okay, where is the Ruski artillery? A pied. There is the uh artillery foot artillery. It's about to say artillery, like sounds fancy. So here's what Russian line tree looks like if you haven't seen them in any of my campaigns. I mean they're they got thirty percent accuracy, so I mean they're okay. But my guys have automatically forty two because they're upgraded. So it turns out I only have four line infantry, which is not very good. But I got a ton of these guys which are willing to charge and die for me, so I'm gonna shoot these guys out. And we also have fire by rank. Superior technology. So feel pretty confident. Seems like the uh, Russians are just running around with their heads cut off. Now as they're moving I'm able to take shots. I don't know why these guys aren't using fire by rank, they're in... These guys are though. I wonder if my Lancers could beat their Provincial Cav. Use fire by rank you idiots! By the way, their artillery is kind of invincible unless you shoot them with cav. What are we even shooting at? Okay, we're shooting at their guys at least. Oh, this is going to be a problem. I mean, I think the Russians have some sort of bonus. Wow, that whole bomb only killed one of them. Like, look at this. These guys are already freaking wavering. I'm gonna charge their general. Anyway, I'm just gonna tell these guys to bayonet charge these guys. I don't know why our reload seems slower today. Anyway, let's see if our Ulans are living up to their name. We routed their artillery. It looks like it's now time for someone I like to call Russian bayonet charges. Except we're Prussians. We do have Russia in us, but we're not Russians. Looks like these guys just ran away. I don't know what's up with their morale. They just got shot to pieces by these guys. I want to bring the uh, general. Oh, I do a pikeman too. I think it's really important that we have the uh, upper hand in this. And then, I mean, if these guys are about to rout, they just see all the militia come pouring in. Where's my ulans at, anyway? Yeah, I can't believe my line just routed like that. To a bunch of Russians. Well, apparently didn't see the fate of all their friends over here. I guess Russians in this game might have better charge bonus or something. There goes Paul. It's uh, obviously... Uh, I guess there were some famous Pauls that were Russian. Not that I know of, but maybe there were.
Man, we're chasing these guys off the field of battle. These guys routed like cowards. The uh, 42nd is disgraced. My militia aren't doing as well as I thought they would do, to be honest. Could use these guys to come back over here. I don't want to do a, a melee charge with my general because I could get him killed, so I'm just going to transfer all the troops over. It seems like my guys are just taking a significant number of losses to this one regiment. Now, I know we're just militia, but these guys can't be that good. Can they? All I know is that with the uh, more militia and the Prussians behind them, these guys should be uh, just about to break. I do have over half my army in here. Almost my whole army now with these guys in the back fighting these Russians. So that's a good way to kill Russians, just surround them. Good, we got a heroic video in the campaign result. And here are the results. We killed their force. Guess what, Russians? It's called payback. Two of our ports are blockaded. And I don't like that, but I don't really see it. Okay. Well, they got... They are honestly killing my navy up here. I don't even think we can go because they got the... Uh, hmm. Interesting. At least a lot of Sweden is considered rich around here. Yeah, I'm not going to risk the auto-resolve here. Just save. I'm saving just in case. Just in case it screws me. Okay. It screws me over. We got a church school in Denmark. And we raise all over the farms. Because the Russians decide to, you know, just raid me. Workers ride in Sweden. Damage the pleasure gardens. And we're going to train some more militia here. Wow, they're really pissed off. I almost want another. I'm gonna hire another general here. We got Norway. That'll increase our money even more. We're making now 12k a turn. That'll really help us in our uh, development of our buildings. Unfortunately, I somehow wasted on uh, retraining my troops, which isn't a waste. It's just something that has to be done sometimes. Huh? A mob armed with whatever they're able to steal. A big problem is I need church schools to develop like around here. Do I, do I even have a church school around here? I think I uh, developed something. Yeah, I'm not sure we want to train them. Um, they want to get some now Ulans are 25 charged. Yeah these guys are better. Okay, we'll get one of those and we'll end another turn. The goal in this part is to kill Poland once and for all. I mean, how long have we had Warsaw? You know, I'm perfectly happy for the Austrians to kill the Barbary pirates, which I think they did. They're honestly a big nuisance. How about I just train a general? He's already five stars. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So we're pushing back on all fronts gonna push back on the Russians we just took over all of Sweden and Norway and we just got Finland and then we can kill oh we gotta get st. Petersburg also Frederick what Frederick the Great died Is that historically accurate I wonder how old Frederick was well he certainly unified Prussia So, Wilhelm the first. And ministers are dying. Wow, they're just ticked off up here. Ministers are dying. Okay. That guy's 85 years old. Jeez. Everyone, these guys are freaking old guys. And these guys ain't getting younger. I don't get how having a mistress would make the nobility happy. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, sleeping with your, not with your wife, and you, uh, makes people happy. That's very interesting odds. These guys are extremely pissed off. I don't really care. Now in Deutschland, in Berlin, I need to upgrade this one also. I really wish they were growing. Oh, well, we're growing, so that's good. Telling you, me upgrading my farms is really making people, uh, Upgrading the wealth in the various areas. It's making people happy. <laughs> Still haven't repaired this, but not like I really care. Okay, I think this army's gonna need to retrain, which they don't have enough. What an airplane outside. <laughs> okay, so Venice has moved a lot of their army out, so it might be a prime time strike. So, I mean, I can't just leave these guys, but I can, and I will. I trust the Ottomans, they seem pretty friendly to me. Yo, come on, France, bro. Thank you. I love how everyone in their mom hates Austria. <laughs> It's weird not to see a giant Venice Venetian fleet. The Palpal States are however raiding called the Palpal States. The I'm sorry, the proper term is the Italian states are raiding my lands. Tiny capturing these capitals is a great way. I seem to kill Winterberg. Gosh, I'm just so torn, I want to kill so many people. These are rebels, aren't they? Well Sweden, you gotta get me up pretty early in the morning to uh I swear if that was defeat, I would have flipped out. I mean, ever since I got screwed with those Russians on that auto resolve, where it completely just killed my guy. Okay, so, Russia. Welcome to war. <laughs> Demand your surrender. Where do you get these reinforcements from? I love how they're killing Protestantism here. Okay, so the populace is growing. Poland is a little bit unhappy, but we're not gonna build that just yet. How's our research going? Everything is going good. We should be able to upgrade to the classical university next. Well, we already are, but then we'll be able to research um, technology rate, citizenship, How's our prestige doing? I never look at this. Where is prestige anyway? What? How the hell is Maratha better than us? Abel. <laughs> Poland's in the in the crutter. Okay. I'm trying to get rid of Poland. Okay, the reinforcements from the city are coming. Alpha. Okay, guys, just to save a little bit of time, I uh, started the battle here quickly. Looks like we're getting charged by lots of cavalry. And we uh, slaughtered the uh, Polish general here. Now what I'm doing is desperately trying to get a lot of my men into position. And they're not making it very easy for me. And there's the uh, reinforcements marching from the city. Now I know that my guys can easily kill these cavalry, even if they're not in square. However, these guys need a little bit of help. I'm not going to deny it. And guess what guys, it's not raining and I can see my troops. So there goes these uh, light, cruddy cavalry. And wow, these guys are facing the wrong way. Call an attack order on these guys. And these guys are getting shot. Pretty badly. There they go. Killed off. 
Okay, so there goes the uh, full force of their cavalry. I'm going to continue to run up my troops. And you now I'm going to make good to my promise. I'm going to try to quickly win this battle up. Win this battle up, what I'm talking about. Try to quickly win this battle. And with winning this, I will conquer the Poles once and for all. I don't know why these guys are in square. But it's not letting my other troops run. So we're going to be playing this on a little bit higher speeds. I'm pretty sure my guys can just take down militia, so I'm going to have them charge. Meanwhile, my cavalry is getting involved. These guys are just getting shot to pieces. And we're going after the cannons. I'll slow it down now that we got this uh, quick speed up. This guy's going to go after these guys to make sure they shatter. I don't know, I've just been in a... I'm just in a, like, bayonet charging these guys. Probably because they're just a bunch of annoying light infantry that have swords. And no bayonets. So they got this really cool rifle. This is one of the unique units that both the uh, Poland Lithuania apparently has and Austria. So that's good. They're actually killing uh, quite a few of my uh, guys over here. Very accurate fire. It's important to close the distance with these guys. It looks like these guys did come back from ranks. So I need to pull my general back. Anyway, with massacring these guys just in the center here. Should ensure that these guys will be kicked out. Then I'll just easily auto resolve the um, assault of the last Polish city because I'll just have armed Cicerian. And you guys don't want to see me kill armed Cicerian. Now it looks like these guys are doing quite a good job. They've shot a number of my Prussians down. So my coward's going to come reinforce and uh, my guys are tired and these guys are kind of winded so. I mean you think with our bayonets you'd be able to easily win this but the cavalry will come in and help save the day. Once there's all the cavalry coming they're like screw it we're out of here. I don't think anyone else has left except for these militia. And all these guys in the back are like oh we don't care we're not fighting. The stream of Prussians just comes down, bunches up, and massacres them. Well, that was a quick battle, guys. I'll see you on the camera. The results is okay, guys. Here are the victory results. And this should be the end of the polls as we know it. Boom. Poland gone. Region captured. Steady under fire. You know what? A good day that the Poles are finally gone. A sad day, though, that our once beloved enemy. I'm just joking. So, Ottomans, get off my lawn! Uh, just kidding. But the good thing is, they upgraded the improved settlement defenses and shut with the people. You know, I feel like if I fix this, the uh, Austrians would be a little more happy. But then, what do we really care about the Austrians? Like, I can't even get over because their ships are blocking me. Oh well, I gotta. I'm gonna train a ship here when I get money, and with that ship, I'm gonna sail my troops over to Finland and kick uh, them out of their uh, more territory. So I mean, Poland's gone, Austria's kicked out of Europe, and I think I'm gonna try to get a peace treaty with Sweden. I know Russia and me aren't at peace, but I don't really care. Now they're trying to steal my technology. I'll kill yet another one of their gentlemen. Gosh, can't you can't you research stuff on your own? Come on, Prussians. I mean, uh, Russians. Also, we both have the eagle, except there's just two heads. Okay. So, Sweden. If you don't mind, I'd request a peace. If you don't mind, I request a peace. And I'll give you some wedge form. No, not fire by ring. So it looks like Great Britain. Huh. Great Britain's only ally is me, and they're at war with a lot of uh, Europe. So we're at peace with these guys. They don't like me very much. 
But uh, I got Sweden. These guys are freaking riding. And I'm gonna let them, because I really don't care. Look at all the Swedes in here. Crazy. Now, it helps if you don't destroy the buildings that, I don't know, make people happy, guys. So, resistance to foreign occupation should die down, as it has basically here. So, our income's up also with the trade. We're gonna be able to make a lot more armies. So, you know, on a, a future campaign promise, and maybe the next part, is do we have our military academy? Ooh, sweet, we can get light dragoons, we can get heavy. Crossier and how about superior line infantry? Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. Berlin only has basic roads. How do we not improve the infrastructure? You guys are fine. You guys are also fine. Oh look, a giant Russian force. Yeah, I'm gonna retreat. I have a ton of militia. Not a lot of line. I was gonna try to make peace with the Russians, so I'll be at war with no one. Oh, come on, Russia. I can give you some technology, I'm sure. Okay, Russia, let's try this again. Trade agreement. I'll give you some technology. And I'll offer you $1,000. Too good to take. Screw you, Russia. I'm going to kill you then. It's such a pain to fight Russia, though. I mean, that's just the problem. They're so vast. So you know, with our newfound funds that we're going to be getting, I'm going to start pumping out a uh, line from uh, Lithuania here. And the militia will kind of be standbys here. In case of another invasion. Could use some more militia here, to be honest. But I will recruit that in the next turn. And I'm not too worried about these guys coming in here. And this guy's already got a ton of command. He's only 26. He's going to be around for a while. Anyway, we've conquered Sweden, basically, made peace with them. How many territories do we need? Subjectives, right? We need 24 more, and we've conquered like half of Europe here. <laughs> so, what do we want to conquer next? I hate Venice. So, probably Venice. Take Milan. And I'll probably just kill Genoa for the hell of it. Move into Italy. And get rid of Wittenberg. So we're going to be expanding this way. And then maybe I'll just... Re nah, i got to focus on my war with Russia also. These guys are unhappy. I'll deal with it. Okay, anyway, this is Caller221 signing off. Hope you enjoyed this part.